cool background, and then they'd come back with a warm uh, color and just spot it in here and there. That was called broken color. It's a good impressionistic trick, and it also gives a, a vibrancy to the uh, painting. Well, you see, oftentimes at the horizon line, the clouds and the mist do appear to be a bit warmer. Okay, that's probably enough for now. Then I'll take my hazing brush, you know, old cheapo here, clean and dry, just knock the edges off. I was going to say knock the socks off, but uh, I think <laughs> some of you might not know what I mean by that. Knock the edges off of these clouds, making them more wispy, and save a little hard edge here. Just like everything else, you don't want, you don't want any one thing in your painting to be all the same. You don't want all hard edges or all soft edges. You don't want all blue or all green. You know what I mean. You need that variety. That's what gives you contrast. Contrast gives this you interest. This is the color of it. That is our atmosphere. We can come back with the uh, atmospheric color and lay it down in between the troughs. Just like this. You see, it begins to reflect between the waves. And I allow the shape of this well to remain the same uh, we lighten that trough. And of course, you understand the, <clears throat> the wave face is up like this. It can't reflect the sun. It has to be the trough area that reflects the sun or the sky, as the case may be. Okay. Now let's go back with something else. <clears throat> Back to our pure color. Let's go to the cerulean blue and a little bit of the viridian. A little touch of ultramarine to darken it. All I want to do is just put in a few dark chops on the face of this particular swell. So it isn't all flat like the background. You know, in other words, up close you, you see more than you would otherwise. Okay, then down into the main swell. Now this swell is the same as the one in the back or back here, except there's a little bit of cresting beginning. And it has a little bit of the translucent uh, light coming through. But we're working with the atmosphere right now. Let's make sure that it... And this is where you establish other contours in the rock. Let's say I wanted a little top here as well as this one. You just simply decide as you go what you want in there. Now here we don't have any tops or sides, it's just flat. So in comes a little reflected light and here's a top. Here's another. And another. And so on. Well. The next thing would be to add the sunlight. Now we've established that this is a, a, a stormy day, but sunlight breaking through and it's coming from this direction. And for now I'll use this brush, but pretty soon I'll use a very small brush. Just establish it's coming from this direction and it maybe strikes back up out at sea here just a little bit, and then bounces off of this wave a little bit in here, and then it strikes our major wave right along in here, hitting the edge. Okay. A little more right in here. Might have a wisp of foam coming up. And then it bounces down and it's our rock. 
Let's have it strong right in here. This is where you focus. And you look at this painting, you'll focus right into here, and then it will lead you back to the wave. So we give something to focus on. Sunlight on this water. This is just the rough end now. We'll refine it with a smaller brush and a bit. There we go. Probably enough for now. We'll texture it later with cracks and crevices, small brushwork. Right now, I think we're ready to refine the wave. And for that, I'll come down to a small watercolor brush. You can use an oil brush if you wish. I use these little zeros and double zeros. Um, they're sable. Let's see, first of all, <clears throat> we'll go back to our atmosphere. Cerulean blue, a little white. And start doing a little clipping here. You see, the main swell has little swells. And that's what we want to show. And you do that by reflecting the atmosphere. Now there's a trick to this. And I'll make it very clear to you momentarily. Right now, let's establish just a few of these. I wonder if you can see what I'm doing that's tricky. Watch now. Can you spot it? Okay, let me show you what I mean. 